everybody and welcome back to my channel it's Holanda. so this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i did my not lit sprays fun fact this is the first time i'm officially doing and completing my not lit sprays i tried it back during the pandemic when it first became popular i tried it on my own i just could not get a hang of it so i just decided to go ahead and go to a hair braider when I was in Atlanta to do my not list braids. So every time I had not listened while I was in Atlanta or while I was in the U.S., Angie did them for me and I just left it at that. But then I came to Dubai. I had it done once and she really didn't do it as not list. It was just like regular box braids, which those really are very um like hard. On my hair, my hair does not like regular braids just because the way it starts. My hair is weak and fragile and thin and it just pulls on it way too much. It's just too much stress on it. So that really set me back on my edges and overall on uh, my hair retention. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and try this again. I have no choice now because I'm not going to opt out for a hair braider to do it and mess up my hair again so let me sit down and do it and i finally got a hang of it it took some braids but i finally got a hang of it y'all honestly this video is just for me to see my journey over time as i get better and better at this let's just go ahead and see how i did it i went ahead and start off by parting my hair in four big sections and the way I'm sitting now really helped me because I refused to buy a door mirror because I just didn't want to stand up and stay in the bathroom alone I wanted to be comfortable y'all know me if I'm doing my hair I need to be extra comfortable and know that it's something that is going to be long lasting in the beginning it was rough I tried to do feed in where I start out with a little piece a tiny tiny piece and gradually grow into a bigger piece but as you guys can see that did not work at all that it just looked weird but i did i think three of them like this and then i realized all right i need to change it up i need to do something i need to make it better so i just decided to do all the pieces the same and then i got more of a grip on how the process of me feeding the braid the hair into the braids was so that's what i did and you guys are going to see i really really got a hang of it i think on the third row that's when i could actually do it without me having to pause the camera zoom all the way in to um, see where i start i could just do it without seeing anything first some mistakes that I've done on this first try was, I just like, not really mistakes, but I just have to learn to clean up my parts. I need to get a hang of how my head shape is and um, really go in and make sure my parting is what I want it to be. I feel like in the back, I just did them, not necessarily too big, but I did them like too uneven it wasn't the way i really really wanted my parting was just everywhere in the back i did have the body very thick or thicker than the front in the front i did make them a little smaller now i did go ahead and record me prepping the hair but i cannot find that footage i don't know if i did not push record but i did get a tiny hair separator or hair stand holder in order for me to separate them before I started braiding. That definitely helps being organized instead of just trying to get the hair individually out of the entire pack. Everything's already separated. So my hair is straight here. If you guys are new here, my hair is never <laughs> straight. It's always in its curly state. And I did do a silk press video routine if you guys are interested i'll link that down below but that is why my hair is straight um i'm not going to do this again i only had my hair straight because i wanted to clip my ends and you guys 
can see in this video, after I separated my parts, I went in and clipped my ends because they needed some trimming. But I'm not going to do my hair while they, it's in a straight state again. Honestly, I cannot grip straight hair. I'm so used to gripping texture, thick hair. I That's how I work. So I know not to ever try braiding my hair on straight hair anymore because it's just... I can't grip it. It's not as neat as I want it to be. Even if I put hair braiding, um, gel, parting, braiding pomade, whatever it's called. Even if I put that on there and try to grip, it's just, uh, I can't, I just can't. So definitely next time, which I'm gonna do right after I have this in for about, I think five to six weeks, I'll take, it on, I'll take them out and redo them. And at that time, I'm just going to go ahead and do it with curly hair because straight hair, I can't grip. I can't. Another mistake or another thing I won't do next time is have longer nails. And I know I cannot grip with long nails at all. My nails has to be really short in order for me to do my braids. And I just didn't think of that when I was braiding or when I first started. To you guys, it may not look that long, but when it comes to trying to have precision, especially when it comes to adding different hair and just braiding my hair in general, long nails or longer nails just does not work for me. I cannot grip what I need to grip. So not only was my hair straight, but also my nails were longer. So yeah, next time I'll do this. Um, I think I'm going to record it, but it should be better because... I know what to do and what not to do. Being that this is my first time me actually doing my knotless braids, I was worried about the parts, but I realized I was taking too long, too much time for me to actually do the parts the way I wanted. And I really was trying to just get the braiding, the start of the braiding down pat, honestly. So I just went ahead and did what I can do with the parting just so I can have my and it should start anchored down so the braiding hair won't slip out and just look nasty. But the party can, the parting is I. Right. And this took me two days. I did this in two days on purpose because I would work with natural lighting and I was not about to try to turn on my light in order for me to keep on recording after the sunset. So I started at 7, 8 a.m. I think 7, 7.30, probably 8 a.m on a Sunday and I finished right before sunset on Monday and it was perfect because I did everything I need to do in between. I ate, I took, I didn't take breaks, but I ate <laughs> and I made sure I was hydrated and I was entertained. So it was a good two days of doing my hair. Um, definitely will be practicing some more. I want to improve it way, 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 way more. So I have some practicing to do. I have my work cut out for me, but I'm just glad not only am I able to save this money. I know I can do it, y'all. I was just, just, I was just so frustrated last time because the YouTube videos I was watching was not helping. I was confused. Like what? And I know how to braid. So when I seen it, I was like, mm. This is a very confusing. I guess the one I just watched was confusing because this, yeah, it, she made it way more complicated than it was. And I was just about done. This is literally is a journey or a journal for me to see my improvement over time. Let me know if these tips help any bit. So at the end, I went ahead and trimmed just unnecessary and make sure they look a little bit more presentable. But this is the final length. I think next time I'm gonna add more braiding hair throughout the strands because it is a little straggly at the end and I think I want them a little bit more full. But it was all a learning process, y'all. So yeah. Okay, now being that it was the first time doing my knotless braids, I know it's it's like tradition <laughs> to have foam on your head and just to lay down the flyaways to make it more presentable. 
but I did not want to buy a whole bottle of mousse in order for me to do these braids because honestly that the first time I did them back in 2020 I was really frustrated and I felt like I wasted a whole pack of hair even though I ended up using it when I went to the hair braider but still I I did not want to go buy a whole bottle of foam or a mousse just for this, just in case I get frustrated again and I did not want to try again. So I did a impromptu type of foam. I feel like the hair spritz from Camille Rose is the same thing, just a foam version for the mousse because like the texture is so thick and so rich you can easily turn that into a foam and that's what i did i had a mini foam maker at the house that i use in my bathroom i went ahead and poured some camille rose honeydew um hair refresher in there and then i just foamed that bad boy up and it did exactly what i needed it to do for that time being is this something i will continuously do in the future when i'm braiding my hair absolutely not i'm gonna just go ahead and invest in a mousse itself but i just wanted to do this the first time so here that's a little hack and yeah that's basically it i got done right before five the next day and i am very satisfied with my hair how it came out with that being said i thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video